everyone! This is Moses, the one who helped you if you're interested to study in Korea. Did you enjoy the last self-introduction video? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> there is something that cannot be left out is if you speak about the self-introduction and that is the study plan. So, as in the last video, I, talk about, I talked about the self-introduction. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to write your study plan. So, let's get it! It is a study plan, but give a brief uh, introduction about yourself. In the self-introduction video, I recommended, I recommended that you, ca you have to write your story regardless the format. But in the study plan, you have to write like there, there have to be part and some uh, specific order that have to be covered. What I recommend is at the beginning, please write who you are, what's the present situation, and what is your plan after getting the uh, scholarship program. And let's take an example. Hello, my name is Moses. I'm from Rwanda. I'm interested in administration and I graduated in a major related to public administration in high school. So that's a brief introduction. You too, you can write. When you are done introducing yourself, talk briefly about your goal. This part is also available in the self-introduction document, but it's better in the study plan also to, like, to write briefly about yourself and the goal that you have. Let me take an example. You wrote that you are interested in administration and you graduated from a public administration related major in high school, right? Then I will use it like this. I'm very interested in Korea's advanced administra administrative system. And my goal is to come back in my country and introduce the Korean administrative system that I learned in the medical sector to develop my country's medical system. How was it? Rather than uh, starting writing your plan as soon as you start the paper, it's better to first give a simple introduction and write your details uh, study plan after. And if you, you write it like that, it will show your willingness and enthusiasm that you have for your major. Now you need to write down your plans. But here, a lot of people are really, really worried. Oh, how to write a specific plan? <laughs> I know that. That's why I brought a sample of my friend. So let's check it together. This is um, a friend who applied for a master's degree. And this friend wrote down what her goal was in each semester. So like this friend, I recommend that you write in details what your goal is to learn for each semester. And in order to write about this part, it is essential that you need an understanding of your major. You need to find out what the curriculum is for that university and you can check it uh, to the website of the school. And if you write down specifically what subject you will take in advance, it's really show that you are really, really interested in that major. And if possible, give an explanation on uh, why you chose this plan. Because in administration, there are different subjects, but please specify the reason why you chose those uh, specific uh, subjects in your study plan. Now, through a detailed plan, you must write the benefits you will get through the uh, program. So let's take an example. Can you see the sample here? Uh, this friend wrote about her plans for her master's degree. And if possible, you should write down in real details what you want to get from your chosen major in this area. And if you look at the next example, you write down specifically what subject you will take for the major in administration, right? 
So now write about what you will get from that subject. And I will probably write that I want an understanding of the Korean administrative system and it will be uh, nice to explain how it is different from my country and how to apply it back to Rwanda through the understanding I get uh, of the Korean administrative system. Guys, are you getting it? You should write a specific plan and write it in details as much as possible. So if you are curious about um, this study plan of my friend, you can check it here because I explain it in more details. Yes, this is the last point and I recommend you to write the, your future plan here also as well you might think that it can be it can overlap because you you wrote your goal first but no it's okay because like please write the plan you have after graduation like short term goal and long term goal again so let's take an example mm, i think i will use this as a short term plan with the goal of returning to Rwanda and applying for medical related officials. And as a long term plan, I'm going to write about the development of the medical system in my country that I mentioned earlier. So I think it will be nice to write this part in the real details in every step. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Yes, guys, today we discussed about five things you have to remember while writing your study plan. And I think it will be a good guideline. So was it helpful? <laughs> so if you have anything you want to ask, please feel free, feel free to type it in the comments below and I will come up with an answer. So let me end up the video here and see you in the next one. Bye.